have to use a very small amount, particularly with this one. Tell me what you think. It's not giving me va va vooms. It lifts, it separates, just like the Playtex bra I used to do. In this video, I'm going to show you some viewer suggested products. Yes, the viewers are the influencers in this video. Welcome to my channel, Beauty by Des, where I help women touching 70 with their beauty, fashion, and lifestyle dilemmas. All the products that I talk about will be listed and linked below, and I will also pin them to the comments so you'll be able to see them at a glance. Now, what dilemma are we facing today? To buy or not to buy, or to try or not to try? I've never done this type of video before, and I'm really looking forward to sharing with you the products that my lovely, fantastic, beautiful, gorgeous viewers have suggested to me. And there will be two or three products at the end that are new to me that I wanted to share with you as well. So without further ado, let's crack on. So the first product that was viewer suggested is this Merit Facial Oil. This is it here. Now it's actually called Merit Facial Oil Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. Now the viewer who suggested this said that it worked really well under the Merit Complexion Stick. And I had done a video on three Merit products that I bought a few weeks ago, which I'll also link down below for you. And I can see why she suggested it, because Merit, of course, do suggest it themselves, and it's a nice hydrating product to put under the stick, because, of course, the stick is, is not liquid, it's not runny. And so you can see why the theory of putting an oil or a water-based product underneath it would help the stick to go on more smooth. Although I have to say that the stick does work very well without using the facial oil. Anyway, this is a cruelty-free vegan and clean brand if you don't know Merit they're based in the States they've recently started shipping to the UK and I must say their shipping is extremely good they're very quick probably only takes about four or five days the cost of shipping is an issue but it's not hugely expensive and I suppose if you were thinking you were going to drive somewhere to buy it then it probably would be quite expensive particularly here in the UK where petrol is very expensive. Caroline Barnes also recommended this a few weeks ago. I was a little bit nervous because when it says it's an oil that's actually a misnomer but I was worried about using an oil because my skin doesn't really appreciate too much emollient products because it produces enough oil, it's not dry. I mean, I do have a few dry patches around here, but nothing really to speak of. And if I use a product that's too rich, like too rich a moisturiser, for example, and to be honest, I don't actually use a moisturiser, I only use an SPF, it, I tend to get millier, and I do have a few, not many, but I have sort of one or two or three dotted around my face. So I was a little bit worried about using this. But actually, it really is not an oil, and that is a misnomer. It's much more water-based. So without further ado, let me show you how I applied it while I tell you a little bit more about it. So it's a weightless formula. It absorbs quickly into the skin, which I would agree with, with zero residue. So it's supposed to leave it plumped, hydrated and prepped for makeup. It's designed to complement the Minimalist, which is that complexion stick I mentioned, but it can also be used with any complexion product to give the skin a healthy glow. Now, this is exactly right because I have it on today and I've got the Hourglass Foundation on the Skin Veil, I think it's called, but I also tried it not just with a complexion stick, I also tried it with Wet n Wild's Skin Tint and it worked beautifully with that as well. So it's got four types of hyaluronic acid in it, it's got niacinamide which helps to brighten the skin and I think that's also true, I think it does brighten the skin. And it's also got some caffeine rich cacao seed extract which is supposed to stimulate blood flow. So it costs £40 which is quite pricey, I guess that's around $50. It's a good weighty bottle, it's beautiful glass, it's really well packaged and you get about 1.7 fluid ounces or about 50 ml. Now you do have to be really careful with this when you apply it because it has a pump but if you're not careful, a load comes out. You have to be very, very gentle with it. And let me just show you again. Let me just show you. You just have to press very gently. Oh, there we are. Now that's probably quite enough there. I think maybe I'm getting better at it, but don't sort of give it a really hard pump. Otherwise it'll go everywhere because it is very watery. I'll just show you a bit on my hand. I don't know if that's showing up, but it does give a lovely glow. And it doesn't smell of anything, it doesn't have a fragrance. 
No, you can't smell a thing. And it is a really pleasant product to use. Now, it's not a must-have, I would say. It's a nice-to-have. But I would also say that if your skin is on the dry side and you don't want to use a really oily product under your makeup, then this would definitely be one for you. Now, the next two viewer-suggested products are concealers. So we've got the Natasha Denona, which is the High Glam Concealer. And I don't think I've ever bought a Natasha Denona product before. And we also have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, which I think I have bought years ago, but I'm not sure I liked it at the time, but very willing to give it another go. So you'll see on the footage, I tried them both and I gave them a wear test. So let me tell you a little bit about them. So the It Cosmetics comes in 24 shades. It's highly pigmented and water resistant and it provides a long wearing finish. It's enriched with soothing cucumber extract, skin firming collagen and hyaluronic acid, which helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines. It also promotes a youthful looking complexion. The formula delivers a full coverage to help hide dark circles and imperfections. It can also be used as a foundation, which I haven't yet tried. And it's cruelty free and vegan and it's £26, although at the moment it's on Look Fantastic in the UK for £23.40 comes in 20 shades and I'm in the shade medium beige. Now the Natasha Denona is a long lasting creaseless concealer with a natural medium buildable coverage luminous matte finish. It's made with biomimetic pigments and texture perfecting microspheres for flawless airbrushed results with a weightless natural look and a flexible feel with up to 19 hours wear. It works instantly and over time to brighten dark circles, reduce puffiness and blur the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles after 28 days of use. Now, I'm not interested really in my, in my makeup being my skincare, but that's fine if that's what it does, great. But it's probably not going to do that on my nearly 70 year old skin. And I'm in the shade N5. Now the Natasha Denona is £29, but you do get a decent amount in here, so I would think it would probably last a long time. The key thing is with both of these is you have to use a very small amount, particularly with this one. I must say I'm not all that keen on the tube application idea for a concealer, but I can see how it would be really good for covering imperfections, because after all, that's what the whole idea behind it cosmetics was, wasn't it? It was a newsreader who was on camera a lot who was finding that she couldn't find a decent makeup to cover her imperfections that didn't do harm to her skin. So I, th I can see how this would be good for covering imperfections. Under eyes, maybe if you had really dark circles. Having said that, I'm wearing the It under here at the moment and I've got the Natasha under here. And I think you could say they're both looking pretty good and neither of them look too full coverage and too heavy. And I've had these on for probably two or three hours now and I don't think they've creased very much. So I think they're both really pleasant to use and nice concealers. But I have to say, I probably enjoy using the Natasha Denona a little bit more than the It because the It has got that thickness. And because I'm a bit cack handed, it probably makes me less inclined to use it more often. So the next viewer suggested product is this mascara by Chantecai. Now I've never bought any product from Chantecai before. I know it's a French brand. I believe that Caroline Hirons used to work for them years ago. I think she developed all their training manuals. And it was very lucky for me that when I looked on their site last week, they actually had a 25 anniversary sale. So I managed to get 25% off the mascara because it's 44 pounds usually, and it was 33 in the sale. I'm afraid the sale I think has finished now, but if it's still going, I'll obviously put the details down below for you. So I've only put this on this morning because it only arrived yesterday, but I'm wearing it today. So let me come close and tell me what you think. Now, I am very pleased with this mascara. I have to say it's not giving me va va vooms. It's not doing what the Lash Clash by YSL or the MAC Stack by MAC is doing for me, but that does do a lot of clumping. And I suppose it's early days with this because it's literally just on today. And as time goes on, probably after a couple of weeks, mascaras tend to change a little bit. But I do think for a first application, and I've, I've put two on either side, I think it looks really good. It lifts, it separates, just like the Playtex bra used to do, and it's found them out nicely. And just to say, I've just had my lashes lifted last weekend, 
and that really does help my lashes because they usually like stalactites they're dead straight so having them lifted and then the using this mascara on the top has made them look really lovely i think so i am really pleased with it i do think it's very expensive but if you are willing to spend a decent amount on your mascara, then I would definitely give this one a go. And I am really enjoying it. And also, I'll probably do a fave soon. And I'll come back and talk about it a bit later in the month. Now, we're going to move on to some products that I've really enjoyed that are not suggested by viewers, but that I have bought recently and I'm really enjoying. And the first one is this Merit lipstick. And this is in the shade Baby. So as you can tell, I'm a bit of a Merit fan now. This is a beautiful shade. I will swatch it for you. It's really creamy. I've got it on at the moment. It's a great everyday shade and I have been taking it to the office and you can apply it really without a mirror because it's such a light shade. It's not likely to smear very badly. It's a really comfortable shade. It feels lovely and creamy on the lips and I absolutely love it. Now again, it's not a cheap brand. It's £28, which is probably 30 something dollars, but I do really like it. And if you're looking for a nice neutral lipstick, I mean, they have other beautiful shades as well. I think it comes in eight shades, but this is a beautiful neutral for me. And sticking with the neutral shades, I couldn't walk past a Charlotte Tilbury counter the other day as I did in Selfridges without having a look at her new lip blurs. And this is the one that I picked. So this, of course, is in the iconic shade Pillow Talk. It is lovely. It really is. It reminds me a lot of her Hollywood lips line that she discontinued a few years ago. Let me just pop a bit on here. So it's a bit darker than the Merit, but it's still very, very beautiful. And you can apply it with your fingers. It does have a very slight vanilla smell, but there's actually no fragrance in it because I'm allergic to fragrance, so that wouldn't do at all. And let me put a bit on my lips. I'm just going to get some on my finger and I'm going to show you how I can blur it. Let me just pop a bit on. And you can see I'm just going over my top lip a little bit just to blur it. Can you see how beautiful that is? It again, feels so creamy on the lips. And it's not really a liquid lipstick. It doesn't, I don't think it pretends to be actually, although it's in the same sort of case, but it feels beautiful on the lips. It's a lovely pale neutral color, which I absolutely love and it's quite pricey, it's £27. It's actually more expensive than the Lisa Eldridge Velveteens, but I am really enjoying wearing it and I think it's probably going to be in my faves. And just to mention briefly, because I've done a whole video about them, which I'll link down below for you, the two Lisa Eldridge Velveteen lipsticks. Now these again are not traditional liquid lipsticks, but I do love them and let me just quickly swatch them for you so you can compare them to the others and I got them in the shade Muse and in the shade Blush and and they do mirror the Lisa Eldridge velvet lipsticks and that's them there I think which is which I think this is yes that's Muse and that's Blush they are absolutely beautiful and again you can apply them with your fingers and you'll see in the other video how I did that and they are beautiful and again they're probably likely to be in my faves they are really beautiful lipsticks and they do have more staying power certainly than the Merit does I the Charlotte the jury's still out on that because I've only had it a week but I don't really expect my lipsticks to last through lunch or dinner. I would expect them to last through a cup of coffee, and I think these do. So what did you think? Do you fancy trying any of these products, or have you tried them? Let me know in the comments, because this is what it's all about. This is so fantastic that these viewers have suggested these products to me and that I've tried them. I really love that. I love having a discussion in the comments about what products work for you and what don't. And actually there was another product that the same viewer who'd suggested the two concealers also suggested something by Colleen Rothschild, but she's very difficult to get hold of in the UK, but I hope to do so in the fullness of time. And if you've enjoyed this video, I'd be so grateful if you'd give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me. I'm not that far off 2000 subscribers now. So if I can just get a few more, I'd be really, really delighted. So if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I'd be really delighted. And of course it's free to do so. And talking of subscriptions, and if you can't get enough of me, and who can, then why don't you subscribe to my monthly newsletter? The August edition has just gone out, but my September edition will drop in the first week of September. 
and in it I don't just talk about beauty and fashion but I also talk about movies, books, music, podcasts and all the other things that enhance our lives. And thank you so much for watching. It means the absolute world to me. It really does. And I hope you're all doing really well. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye.